Hello my fellow TIs. This is Robert Stanson with the Reverse Polarity Magnet Helmet. Um, this is a prototype I, I built. Um, as you can see, I put a layer of um, copper uh, both in the inside and outside around the brim and everywhere else. Um, and then what I did was is I used I, I made a ground wire going into the uh, to the to the outlet and then all I do is I, I you can either take the alligator clip clip it but and then you can also put it like anywhere on your helmet where it's touching the copper as well on the magnet and it'll stick right to it um I've been I've been trying this out uh for a week now and uh um the thing is is that um without the ground uh, you can actually feel uh, uh, in the energy build up, you know, around above your head. I mean, it's not touching, uh, it, you know, your brain, but it builds up. And I guess it, it, the, um, the, the um, energy is not not able to uh, quickly um, uh, uh, expel, you know, from the helmet, just uh, like Magneto 5, um, the regular helmet with no copper. Um what I did notice when I when I finally built a, a ground wire um, is that when I attached it, uh, I can actually feel the the buildup um, actually go straight towards the ground and then ground out and it would dissipate quickly. Um, after I grounded it, um, what I noticed is that the uh, um, uh, it, it was quiet. I mean, even if you have E2K, even the tones uh, come down a little bit. I mean, it's it's not it's not um, uh, um, I mean that heavy. It's it's heavy enough of, of a difference as far as like uh, uh, receiving and and returning signals through you know past you know to your brain and, and back and forth. Um, that right there, I, I feel like um, like almost like a turtle shell. You know how a turtle goes in, inside its shell to get away from every the danger, you know, and in there he's he knows he's safe and 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 he can be calm and relaxed. And that's what I've noticed in this helmet, uh, while it's grounded, is that um, uh, I'm more calmer, more relaxed, and um, and and able to uh, you know think clearly without any mind intrusion. I mean, every time since I've been wearing it for about a, a week now that um. The mine intrusion just it just it didn't seem like it's been existent at all um you know uh i think possibly because i mean i know copper is a con is is conductive but a lot of the um but i believe the magnets are, are definitely good for the electromagnetic magnetic uh pulses but as far as like their their signals you know um that, that they use uh what I've what I've read and learned is that uh, signals are um, uh, copper uh, it, it, its ability to to uh, to block re reception and to and and to block uh, uh, um, re receiving signals as well. Um, but this is only one layer of copper, so maybe if I I put this copper sheeting that I got at at Home Depot, or I mean I'm sorry Lowe's. Um, and uh, um, and this is just one layer. I can imagine uh, maybe a couple more layers. Um, it's it'll cut your fingers up. Um, it's a pain in the butt. I use spray glue uh, to put it on, and and then I then I use uh, something hard or maybe even the, the cap of the uh, the spray, um, and then I then I mold out the uh, um, the, uh, the the flat areas and trying to trying to you know rub it in. I, um, it's probably good to cut off the edges maybe and then make uh, a good about I don't know uh, two to three inches inch squares and then and then, uh, put them in uh, uh, um, each just like that you know one square at a time uh, is best otherwise you have crinkles and everything um, this one's pretty good um, as you can see the ears if you have V2K uh, the best thing for that is to not cover the ears, but I wanted to try it, to cover it with the copper this time. And but the thing is, is that it gets so quiet that their their V two K it it you it's uh um you can actually hear hear it even if it's toned down 
because it's it's too quiet. So I cut out the ears to uh, allow allow that uh, um, that where where noise and 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 music or whatnot can can uh, um, can play in my ear. I can hear it. Um, uh, as you can see, the brim. Uh, if you build them, always build magnets on the brim. That way, you can actually you can take this and dip your helmet over over your nose to block out visuals and uh, um, and you know flashing light strobe lighting in your eyes while you try to close your eyes and sleep. Um, I did add this right. Usually it, the helmet curves this way, but what I did is I covered this portion and added a magnet that way because your eyes are right here and when you lay sideways, you know you're not getting directed energy right in your face, uh, you know from the side. Um, I, so I added that as well. But this is something you might want to try. Um, I mean, it, 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 it does have a, a lot of pluses. Um, and, and as far as like peacefulness, I mean, you can actually sit and read a whole book um, and, and have that peace and quiet and peace of mind, actually. That's, I mean, that's the feeling that I got and that's the feeling that I get with it. Um, but I say uh, this is definitely an upgrade. So I, I call this Magneto 5 Gold. Um, I would probably want to add maybe one more layer of copper, uh, but I, I also got another, um, thing that you guys might want to look into if, uh, um, uh, back in the, around the seventies and eighties, uh, there was a guy that came up with, um, uh, a helmet to, uh, block aliens from, from, uh, 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 mind or controlling his mind or abducting his mind. That's what, what they believed back in those days but as we all know um that is not true it is uh, uh government and and uh um uh um uh homeland security uh um uh, eod dod uh people that are doing this to us but uh um what what he uh it, if you look on the web, um, it's kind of hard to find, but what he calls it is, is he calls his helmet the through uh, screen helmet. So if you want to look up on the web, the material, he actually gives instructions. But I'm going to try this on, on a Magneto uh, 6 and uh, and see what happens. But uh, he is this, the material that he uses, he uses about six to eight layers uh, of uh, Velostat, uh, V E L O S. T A T, um, that uh, that that he used on on these uh, um, these old um, uh, 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 like a uh, pilot helmets, leather helmets back in the day, and uh, and he actually has a uh, uh, patent on that, and and peop and and a uh, um, and also how to how to build his helmets. And testimonies if you want to if you want to research that but I'm going to use that thing but he's stating that uh, that uh, um, that it does not shield but the material um, does um, block the uh, the mind intrusions so that's something I want to um, try out and and see what happens and then uh, I'll keep you guys posted on, on that as well. But as far as like Magneto Gold, right, what you're looking at, um, it does have a lot of a lot more uh, um, benefits as far as having a lot more uh, peace of mind. I mean, I'm talking, uh, I can relax and just, and just, and, and not even think about this. And, and I mean, like I said, you can read a book or whatnot. This is just one layer and it works really good. Uh, and, and it turned out really, really, really uh, nice. I mean, look at that. It looked, it turned out really great. But the only problem with this helmet, it has to be grounded. You can't be walking around in it or anything like that. The only downside I feel is that um, without the ground, um, it just it builds that uh, that negative energy up inside the helmet, and then it you know there's no way for it to escape. Um, as far as like Magneto Five without the copper. Uh, um, all, all that energy it actually it, it bounces off reflects and, ex be, and is able to uh, flow and, and escape through the helmet um, you know or, you know around around all, all its all its gaps and stuff and so um, as far as I'm concerned a Magneto 5 is definitely top 
I, I tried um, using x-ray caps and putting magnets around it because it's stiff and maybe it might help but uh, no it, it did not help at all I do believe that magnets um, that, that don't have that space and uh, you know providing that space for that energy uh, see because you got to deal you're also uh, dealing with the with the um, you know all these magnets that, that have energy as well and so you see the distance that you have that the pads give you um, you know to uh, uh, that way because I, I believe the intensity of the of the magnets helmets and as well as the uh, um, the electronic harassments energy is that you need that that space uh, uh, you know, to that way it deflects, it pulls out the inside magnets, pull them out, and the top magnets uh, deflect, and then whatever passes through the the, in, the inner magnets, you know, finishes the rest. And uh, um, but I think it's closer to the skin because I've tested uh, an X-ray cap um, w with magnets in it, and it, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, for two days uh, it failed miserably for sleeping. But it was good um, if you wanted to drive. Uh, it blocked some of the heavy hits while driving, um, and it's light, and that's about that's about all the um, you know the, the the pros that it had. But as far as uh, th this helmet that's grounded, um, it's it's a really good it's a really good option um, if you want to increase that shielding. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said again, on the Velostat, and I'll I'll, I'll build another helmet with Velostat lined and see what happens. All right. God bless my family and, and, uh, be strong. Bye.